Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on the test automation obstacles. Now we are going to look at an obstacle where we need to drag a particular image from a left to right box. So here you can see uh, we need to drag this particular image. So we need to drag this and put it here and that will complete the obstacle. OK, so it's basically the drag and drop functionality. And uh, this is provided out of the box by Tosca. So let's see how we can use this. So to make this a little easier, I have already scanned the module. Uh, it's nothing specific. OK, so you just need to select the particular image which we want to drag. And then we need to select the element, which is like a dev element. OK, so this is the dev element where we need to drag this particular uh, bot picture, right? So these are the two elements which uh, we need to uh, scan and create a module, which I have already done, okay? And then uh, let's go ahead and create our test case. So here uh, we are going to create our new test case and uh, we are going to rename this based on this obstacle number. Okay, and then uh, we are going to use this particular module here. Okay, so now in the test steps, uh, we need to drag and drop, right? So we need to drag this particular Tosca bot image. Okay, so to do this, uh, we need to use a predefined uh, expression or function, which is already available in Tosca, which can perform the drag operation. Okay, and for that, we need to use the curly braces, and then uh, we have to type drag. So as you can see, uh, here is the syntax. Uh, it is just within the curly braces drag, and then it selects the object for repositioning. Uh, the respective object must support drag and drop operations, okay? So if you're trying to drag any particular element, it will not work. It should support the drag and drop operation, right? Okay, so this is what uh, we need to enter here in the value, okay? The action mode will be input. And then uh, we need to drop it into this particular element. So we will be using again uh, expression which is called drop. So this basically will insert an object uh, that was previously selected with the drag functionality. So we are going to uh, write the drop expression here and the action mode will still be input. So this is all we need to do here in order to drag a particular object and drop it into another object, right? So let's go ahead and test it out if it works as expected or not. So as you can see, uh, Tosca is dragging that particular image and then putting it inside the box, okay? So which is the expected behavior. And that's how we can solve this particular automation problem where we have to drag a particular element from one position to another position. Okay, and this is provided out of the box by Tosca. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.